Welcome back to the Morning Blend. I think any woman could appreciate a peek into the modern male psyche. Isn't that the truth? Our next guest is a Milwaukee native, <laughs> and he's back in town with the release of his debut novel. Contrary Motion is about a divorced harpist and touches on the subjects of male anxiety, parental responsibility, and music as therapy. We're thrilled to welcome Andy Mozina to the Yellow Couch. Thanks for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. That's a lot of big topics it in sure one is. Yeah, oh, I don't know. They are very serious, <laughs> very intense. Yeah. What made you decide to write this book and tackle those sorts of topics? Um, well, I got interested in writing about a harpist. Um, my mother works uh, at a hospice. She's a hospice nurse. My wife is a harpist. And my mother sent me a photo of uh, somebody playing bedside, a bedside vigil for a dying person. And she mm. thought this was very moving. And I thought, wow, that's interesting. I didn't know they did that. And um, I started to think that would be an interesting character to write about. Interesting mm -hmm. that you say that your wife is a harpist yes. because mm -hmm. one of the, the fun facts about harpists that we recently learned is that it wasn't traditionally the female's role to play yes, the Yes, right. Most orchestra, orchestra positions were played by men. Um, it was kind of a boys club. And in the 70s, they started using screens uh, during auditions and um, you couldn't discriminate. Wow. Uh, and so women started to win. <laughs> and once women started winning, uh, the orchestras opened up, and then people started sort of gravitating to different instruments. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that uh, women and gay men mostly play the harp now. Really? That's interesting. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I think that is fascinating. So let's talk a little bit about the novel and exploration about what yeah. it's like to make a, a, a life in the creative field yeah. and how that affects the balance of parental responsibilities yeah. um, between men and women and how that sort of plays out in your book. Right. So artistic standards are so high. You've got yeah. to practice all the time. And then you've got a daughter and you've got a, a wife or an ex-wife or, or a, you're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And so it's just a, it's that tug of war. And the harp for this particular character is sort of a very, I mean, it's a very important, almost a character in and of itself. Yes, mm -hmm. totally. It's a relationship yes. with this harp. Yes, right? absolutely. It would be difficult in a marriage. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you, know? you love your harp more than me, you know, that sort right, of thing. Right, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And you got to be devoted to it. I mean, like I said, the standards are super high, so you got you to gotta do it. But you got to honor your relationship. So conflict, trouble, novel. Right. You know? uh, tell us a little bit more about the character, the main character in your book. Um... Well, he is, um, he's getting up there, he's getting into his 30s, and he's sort of desperate to make it. So he's very anxious, um, he wants to achieve and be successful, and he's uh, divorced, and he's trying a new relationship, and so he's struggling on a bunch of levels. Uh, his father passes early on, so it's like this big pile of problems, and he's got to focus and prepare for the audition. Mm. Mm. That's such a, an interesting time period in a person's mm -hmm. life, too, because there's so much transition that happens yes, then. Yes, totally. It's almost like adulthood sets in, and you realize, okay, I got I to gotta do this or I'm not going to do this. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, now or never, yeah. totally, yes. Mm -hmm. And there's always, I feel like, that, that play in your 30s of what's my purpose, what's my legacy, where am I yes, going, right. what, what am I going to succeed at if I haven't already? Exactly, I wanted this my whole life. Yeah. Am I going to get it or not? And if I don't get it, what does that mean? Right, exactly. what, is, what happens to me then? Exactly. What yeah. did you learn um, when you're sort of writing about anxiety for yeah. men yeah. and things like that? What did you learn about maybe the topic of in of itself? Well, I mean, it's not something that men generally talk about. Right? I mean, it's something that I thought I could explore in a novel. It's not something my friends and I sit so around. So you didn't have conversations about it? Not really. It was sort of like imagining my way into this particular person yeah. and knowing that everybody struggles with stuff. Guys, women, everybody struggles. Mm -hmm. And sort of trying to play off of that and heightening things to make it dramatic for the novel. How much of this character is you? You know, I always think it's fascinating how much of themselves in some sort of way an author puts into a character. I think you put little bits. Yeah. You put little bits and then you exaggerate or you change things. I'm not a musician. I've mm -hmm. never played an instrument. So all that got imported. I've never taken an audition. Um, How much did you have to uh, rely on your wife? I, I researched, I interviewed my wife, I interviewed other harpists, I interviewed people at the Milwaukee Symphony mm -hmm. um, to find out about audition process. So it was really fun. I got to learn a lot. And I got outside myself. So there's yeah. some stuff about myself. And then there's stuff that I could imagine for this character. And that's part of the fun of writing, writing a story. Did he start talking to you? 
<laughs> a little bit. Does yeah. he He's still really talk to you? <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I just think that's you know when you really are devoted to a character for that m amount of time, and you know you're by yourself oh, yeah. with that character. You're making yeah. up conversations all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and y and your character saying stuff, and then there's other people in the character's world, and they're saying stuff, so it's very fun. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I think it's great. Who do you hope will read this? Is this for musicians? It's really for everybody. It is. Uh, the New York Post called it required reading, and I thought, well, that's a good idea. That's I don't, huge. I don't know if they can enforce that. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's. A, I hope. I think everybody should read it. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you have any other fun facts or tidbits about harpists that we should know? Um, harpists are very meticulous. They're super detail oriented, and uh, I won't say that they're high strung because that would be <laughs> terrible. Very funny. No, it's not. It's, I, it was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that to your show. You can you can edit that away. It's fine. We're live. Sorry, Andy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I should be panicking more. Yeah, you I should didn't... have some more anxiety so that you can write about it. I'll, I'll write something about somebody who's very anxious on a talk show later on. <laughs> Think, will that be there your you next go. character? Maybe. You can See? interview us. Yeah. We'll, we'll give you all kinds of things. Excellent. But I love it. So people can come out and meet you tonight. Um, yes. You're going to do a reading, uh, the book launch here in Milwaukee, a signing at Boswell Book Company. Contrary Motion is the name of the book. Hey, it's required reading. You have, you have to, to go. It's a, must, yeah. it's a must read. Must read. 7 o'clock. Read and sign tonight. Again, Boswell Book. Or visit andymozina.com for more information. <laughs> Thanks cool. for being here. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. It.